The firefighter faces a plume of smoke rising in a forested area. Sierra Cobra's fire crew member Gustavo Cisneros keeps an eye on a hillside as the windy fire burns in Sequoia National Forest near the Tool River Reservation on Thursday. Flames burn through brush near the Sequoia National Park entrance station in the Three Rivers area as the KNP complex fire threatens the area on Wednesday. Smoke pours from a hillside in Sequoia National Forest as the windy fire burns near the Tool River Reservation on Thursday. Some homes have plywood covering window and door openings on East 27th Street following the LAPD's fireworks explosion before the 4th of July. Homes and property on the the block of East 27th Street between Stanford Avenue and San Pedro Street were damaged by the LAPD's fireworks detonation that displaced more than 70 people. E 27th Street and Stanford Avenue on Wednesday, August 4, 2021, in Los Angeles, California. Construction workers finished the exterior of an apartment building downtown Los Angeles. California Governor Gavin Newsom on Thursday, September 16, 2021, approved two measures to slice through local zoning ordinances as the most populous state struggles with soaring home prices and affordable housing shortage and stubborn homelessness. Newsom also signed a bill extending a 2019 law designed to make it easier to build more housing throughout the state. There were many mask wearers as people packed Universal City Walk in Universal City, California, Tuesday, June 15, 2021, as the state of California celebrates the end of pandemic-era restrictions, including mask wearing in most situations. Crews are struggling to save California's iconic giant sequoias from a lightning-caused wildfire that's heading toward old-growth forests in the Sierra Nevada. Firefighters have wrapped the base of the world's largest tree, the General Sherman tree, in fire-resistant aluminum wrapping along with other trees and buildings in Sequoia National Forest. That's to protect them from a wildfire that's expected to reach a grove of 2,000 sequoias within days. Although, fire officials say the fire didn't grow much on Thursday. A wildfire in the region last year killed thousands of sequoias, some as tall as high-rises and thousands of years old.